hey guys welcome back to mrs Dre food channel let's prepare our lunch together so today i decided to prepare fried yam and some delicious fried red fish i also made my homemade red shito my regular black chili sauce and my green chili sauce for this recipe i'm using the red sea bream already washed and I'm going to add in some onion granules, which you can replace with onion powder if that's what you have. Then I'm going to add some smoked paprika. And of course, you can use the regular paprika powder. Next, I'm going to add some garlic granules. And you can use garlic powder instead. Then I'm going to add some badia complete seasoning, which I bought from Amazon. So you can easily buy it. I also love some curry powder in my fried fish i think it gives it a very nice taste but of course it's optional then i'm going to add some maggi seasoning powder and last but not least i'm going to add some salt to taste next i am going to mix everything together and then i am going to cover it with some cling film or plastic film and leave it in the fridge until i need it next i am going to peel my yam and I'm using puna yam. I have a family of five, so I'll be using one full puna yam plus a half. I'm going to cut it the traditional way, which is the diamond shape. But of course, nowadays you cut it the way you like it. If you like it the fried shape, please go ahead and do it. But in this house, this is how we are used to cutting it. So yeah. And you know, fried yam is my kids and my husband's favorite. They can literally eat that every day. And I can't blame them. It's so delicious. So yes, I am finishing cutting the yam into diamond shapes. And that's it. Next, I am going to transfer it into a large enough bowl. And then I am going to wash it with cold water so i first fill up my bowl with the water and then i'm going to wash it thoroughly um then i'm going to discard the water then i am going to wash it again so in total i'll be washing it about three times to make sure it is nice and clean next i am going to Pat dry the yam and make sure the yam is as dry as possible. And then I am going to add some salt to taste and shake it. Next, I am going to add some ground turmeric because I want to have that yellow color, you know, yellow fried yam. It is so attractive. So I added about half a tablespoon of turmeric and then I mixed it up. And then I'm going to leave it on the side to rest until I finish frying the fish. Talking about the fish, here it is. And it's been in the fridge for about half an hour to 45 minutes. I am also preheating some oil and I'm adding some thyme and some fresh garlic and when it is hot I'm going to add in some flour you know I want my fish to have that golden color and when it is hot I'm going to deep fry my well seasoned red sea bread and of course this recipe or this seasoning works with any fish type you like it works very well with tilapia or even the black sea bream it is excellent so please try it so i'm going to let it fry on one side and then i'm going to turn it over to make sure the other side fries so it is nice and perfect and when it is ready, I am going to let the excess oil drain on kitchen towel or paper towel. And then that's it. And my fish will be ready and nice and juicy. The amount of time 
you want to fry it really depends on you i like it moist on the inside you know but well fried of course but not too hot and this is it look at this perfect fried red sea bream just amazing and next i am going to fry my yam and you can see that the color is there it's nice and yellow and when i'll be finishing frying them you see how wonderful the fried yam looks like but of course this is optional you don't have to do it i don't usually add the turmeric but i wanted to do it this time for you to see so when the yam is ready Put it on some kitchen towel and let the excess oil drain and you can see how perfect this yam is. So really try with the turmeric and see if you like it. So guys, look at this wonderful fried yam. It is so inviting, so appetizing and I really hope you are going to try it. So this was our lunch today. I really hope you enjoy watching it and cooking it with me. Um, I've got all the peppers recipe on my channel. The red one, the green one, my homemade cheeto, which I posted a few days ago. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time for another recipe. Bye bye and take care.